Hi everybody, my name is Caitlin Burris from GE Global Research. I'm here with Jim Bray and we are here to answer the first installation of your Stump the Scientist questions. First wanted to thank everybody on the Facebook community for submitting great questions. Today we're going to be answering the question that came in from Omar Saeed who asked why is a free falling object weightless? Jim Bray is a PhD in physics. He's been answering our Stump the Scientist questions for the past year. So I'm going to turn to him to help answer the question. Okay, thank you, Caitlin. Our question today is why is a free falling object weightless? First thing we have to understand is what we mean by weight. Now, weight is not a fundamental property of an object. Weight is a product of gravity acting on another property of an object we call mass. In physics, we distinguish between weight and mass. Mass measures the amount of matter in an object, and that's, of course, always fixed by the object. But if we put an object of the same mass in a different gravity field, it will weigh differently. For instance, we weigh more here than we would if we were standing on the moon, because the gravity of the moon is less than Earth. So weight is a property that varies with the gravity field. Now let's get more to the question of free fall and weightlessness. Gravity is pulling on us with a given force when we're on the Earth. If the platform of the Earth were to drop away, if the ground were to drop away, we would fall freely. We would accelerate in the gravitational field. The gravitational field of the Earth points toward us and we would accelerate then downward toward the center of the Earth. Now, in that case, what is happening in that free fall situation is that our acceleration toward the center of the Earth is exactly equal and opposite to the acceleration of gravity aimed toward us, and so the two cancel. That means while we're in free fall, we have zero net acceleration on us. Zero, because we're canceling. Our acceleration free falling is equal and opposite to the acceleration of gravity. You add them together, you get zero acceleration. When we have zero acceleration on us, it's the same as having zero gravity on us. When we have zero gravity on us, our mass weighs nothing. Therefore, we are weightless when we're in free fall. Now, the one tricky and deep part of what I said is that acceleration is the same as gravity. And we know that's true because that's a fundamental tenet and hypothesis of the general theory of relativity put forth by Albert Einstein. Now we're not going to start explaining that theory here, but we're going to tell you that we use that principle to equate acceleration and gravity in the answer. Well, Jim, thank you so much. And Omar, I hope that gave you some insight. Uh, thank you again to everybody for your questions that you submitted. The next time we call for questions will be November 30th, and we'll post an answer again on December 2nd. So thanks again for tuning in, and thank you, Jim, for helping um, with our Stop the Scientist feature. You're welcome, Kevin.